Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. Today we are going to solve problem C from the biweekly contest 122. So the let's understand the problem statement. You are given zero indexed array numbers containing positive integers. And our task is to minimize the length of the numbers by performing the following operation any number of times. Okay, he's saying that we can we can perform these three operations any number of times. Now we need to select two indexes i and j from numbers such that both the numbers should be greater than 0 and we need to insert the result of the number modulo modulo at the end of the numbers and we need to delete the elements at index i and j from the numbers so I think you have got it let's try run with one example suppose we have 1, 4, 3, 1 now let's not try to minimize the length first let's understand what exactly he's saying let's take two indexes let's say let's say 1 0 1 2 3 0 and 1 now 1 percentile 4 which is 1 right so we will remove these two elements and we will insert 1 at the end hmm? and next let's take these two elements 3 and 1 if we take 3 and 1 3 percentile 1 which is 0 we will remove this and we will insert 0 then 0 percentile 1 which is 0 I have left it with one element so I will return 1 if you are doing this we, we got exact match minimum length so we have to return the minimum lengths now by, uh, if we do modulo modulo what is the important property let's see now suppose two if you have two elements a and b which are greater than 0 now a percentile b if, you, if I want to do a percentile b if my a is less than b if my a is less than b then it will be definitely a right suppose 3 modulo 5 which is 3 4 modulo 5 which is 4 so this is the important property when a is percentile b then it is a now if you see here we, we want to take the minimum element first thing we understood is we want we want the minimum element if you have minimum element we can make everything uh, we can eliminate all other all other bigger elements let's see one example if you have 3 7 11 and 13 our minimum element is 3 now let's take 3 and 7 if you are taking 3 and 7 3 mod 7 which is 3 right I will insert it and I will eliminate 3 and 7 now I will take 3 and 11 3 modulo 11 which is 3 right so I will eliminate this and 3 will be inserted at the end then I will take 3 modulo 13 which is 3 I will left it with one element so anything anything now if you have any elements and if I take the minimum element if I take the minimum element and if I do modulo with the bigger element then my minimum element will be restored and my bigger element will get eliminated so this is the first important property now let's see this example now if you have all the elements equal 3 3 3 3 so if, if all elements are equal okay now 3 modulo 3 which is 0 if it is getting 0 we can't take right so the main property here you can see nums of i and j should be greater than 0 if you are getting 0 if we are able to take then definitely all uh, all our answers will be 1 all our answers will be 1 because 0 mod 3 will be 0 then we can eliminate this 3 so I, I think you have got it now let's say if we take 3 and 3 3 mod 3 which is 0 so 0 so we are left with 2 elements ok if all elements are equal if all elements are equal we can do n by 2 uh, even n by 2 is possible let's check with 3 elements suppose if you have 5 elements let's check with 5 elements now if you have 5 elements now we will take this pair 0 this pair which is 0 and we are left with 3 so here we are getting 3 elements so first thing if my all elements are equal so it will be like seal of n by 2 hmm? let's see another scenario it can be like I have same thing I have 3, 3, 3, 3 and I have 7 and I have 7 now if you observe if you observe 3 mod uh, 7 mod 3 7 mod 3 which is 1 right if you are taking these two elements we are able to generate a new element which is less than the minimum yes right we are able to generate 7 mod 3 which is 1 so which is less than my minimum and I can make all other elements too if, if I am able to make it if I am able to make it 1 3 3 3 then I will consider 1 3 
then it will be my this two will be eliminated and it will be three three one then i will consider one three this both will be eliminated three and one then one three then my element will be one so i will left with only one element so if somehow if somehow you can generate if you generate gcd of two elements gcd of a and b if these are lesser than if it is less than the minimum element then definitely that uh, that gcd that gcd uh, will uh, denominate all our larger elements right you i think you have got it now let's see one more example like if you have 3 3 3 and if you have uh, one more element which is 5 5 5 mod 3 which is 2 which is less than my minimum element and i will try to decrease all other elements how you will how you will get the minimum gcd gcd of minimum elements how you will get so this is the uh, standard question we have so we will sort we will sort the vector and we will do i i plus 1 gcds every time i i plus 1 i i plus 1 i i plus 1 in this way if both elements are adjacent if both elements are adjacent then the gcd can be minimum so we'll calculate the minimum gcd minimum gcd then we will check now let's let's understand the coding but i think you got the logic so let's see so if you got the logic please try to try by yourself if you still couldn't able to solve uh, let's understand the solution you have given the 10 power 5 so we need to solve the problem in order of n or n into log n we can go max now first we are sorting it and g is equal to into max where we right, have taken gcd as maximum value then g is equal to minimum of g comma gcd of v of i and v of i minus 1 definitely if you are sorting it and definitely my adjacent elements all my adjacent elements a b c d e f my gcd is minimum when we are doing gcd with only the adjacent elements in this way we are calculating the gcds and if my gcd is less than my minimum value which is v of 0 then directly we are returning one or else we are calculating number of plus plus suppose if you have 3 3 3 3 and if you have 6 and if you have 6 so here uh here now if you take 3 comma 6 if you take 3 comma 6 now uh, if it is 6 now my gcd will be every time if i do gcd 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 is not less than v of 0 which is or uh, which is 3 right now i will take this 3 and whatever the other elements here so it can be 7 8 9 anything anything present over here so i'll take this element and this element and i will delete this element by making 3 mod 6 which is 3 and then 3 mod 7 which is 3 so with this element i will uh delete these all elements and i will left only with this four elements all the equal element that's why v of i is equals to v of 0 how many equal elements are there i will do count plus plus and seal of c divided by 2 into 1.0 because we need to convert it into double that's why we have multiplied with 1 by 0 and we are returning k so i think you have got it so if you couldn't able to understand please do watch the video from the beginning so i think you understood it if you understood it please please do like and if you are new to the channel please do subscribe so i have created a whatsapp community uh, where we will discuss uh, different type of problems if you are interested you can join there i will see you in the next video bye bye